Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be attempting Jenna Marvel's corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog. Now, if you missed this video, it was about three months ago where she attempts to make this. It was inspired by her friend Jason, who was talking about corn on the cob, but instead of the corn cob, which he calls the corn bone, it's a hot dog. And she thought that was hilariously funny and brilliant, and so she attempts to make it. So I will put a link down below to the original video, but in that video, Jenna challenges others to attempt the corn on the cob, but instead of a corn bone, it's a hot dog. So there's lots of reply and response videos, including my friends over at Healthy Junk Food. So I actually received a video by Nikolai, I'll put the link down below to the original video, where he responds to Jenna's video. And his methodology actually is quite sound. And then I watched Jenna's. So I saw his before I saw Jenna's, so I didn't do my version because I felt like I already had gotten the seed planted for the idea of how this would work. But since I got over 574 likes to a comment to make this recipe in my Trudeau hot dog video, if if you haven't seen that recipe, you should definitely check that one out. It's a churro wrapped around a hot dog. Absolutely incredibly tasty and amazing. Sprinkled with cinnamon sugar and ketchup and mustard too. Many of you want me to make this recipe. So here I am, I'm going to make the corn on the cob, but instead of a corn bone, it's a hot dog. So what I've got here are some corn kernels. These are frozen. I've let them sit at room temperature so they could thaw out. And of course, I've got some hot dogs. So how am I gonna attach the corn kernels to the hot dogs? Dun da da da! This. I'm gonna be using raw spaghetti or pasta. The angel hair, I have the spaghetti, and I also have linguine, which is a little bit wider and flatter. Not sure which one will work best, so I got three different kinds. Now, this technique of using raw pasta to connect pieces together, I first learned about when I was bentoing. If you missed my bentoing videos, I did them years ago, and I'll put, again, links down below to the playlist. And it's a technique where you can take a grape tomato, which is kind of a slightly oval-shaped cherry tomato, you cut it on the bias, you take a piece of pasta, and you snap it, and you use the pasta as a connector. So basically, it's analogous to in carpentry when you use dowels to connect pieces of wood together. Same idea, you're using some pasta as a peg to connect two pieces. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the pasta to connect my corn to my hot dog. This is gonna work. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do this. I've already got some pieces of pasta that I've already broken up. Here's my linguine, here's my spaghetti, and here is my angel hair. So I'm just gonna test these out and see which one works best. Ordinary cold hot dog here. I'm going to dry it off a bit. And now I'm going to construct a corn on the cob. So in Nikolai's video, he only did two rows and he lined the corn kernels up like this. And in actuality, the corn kernels actually line up this way. This is gonna be crazy. So I actually looked up the anatomy of corn and what Jason calls the corn bone is just called the cob. So we're making corn on the cob, but instead of the cob, it's gonna be a hot dog. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna just use, I'm gonna try using the angel hair. Just stick the corn kernel on there and stick that like that. I think this might be better. Instead of trying to pierce each one, pierce the hot dog first. So this might be too short. So angel hair might be too short. Let's try spaghetti. Oh, it wants to poke through. So maybe it's better to use frozen corn. So what's happening is my corn is a bit soft. So each time I pierce it with the pasta, it wants to pierce through the actual corn kernel, which isn't that cute. So maybe the trick is not to have, let's try it with frozen corn. Yeah. So frozen corn is gonna be a bit firmer because it's frozen. And it's so frozen that this doesn't even wanna go inside. So no, we'll just let it melt a little bit. And in the meanwhile, I'll just continue. So it looks like angel hair pasta wants to stick in the best, maybe. So what I'm gonna do is try pre-piercing the hot dog with my pasta. And then I'm gonna take my kernel and insert it, yes. Okay, that's the way to go. Pre-pierce the hot dog with the pasta and put the kernels on. 
So we're just plunging the kernels. So not all kernels are created equal. We want the kernels that are nice and big. So that one is too small. So we have to make sure that the pasta sticks out enough so that it catches the corn kernel. Because I was curious and because I was wondering how long I would be doing this, <laughs> I looked up how many on average kernels are on a corn cob, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 kernels per corn cob. Okay, so this is working, but it's not fun. This is just very tedious. So there you have it. That's what's gonna look like, and I'm gonna do rows and rows and rows of this until it's finished. All right, let me try a piece of linguine. Linguine, of course, is much fatter. Let's see how that works. Or let me try a piece of spaghetti. Spaghetti's a little bit too rough. The spaghetti's a little bit too fat. It's a little bit too big. So I think I'm gonna stick with angel hair. And when I was looking at the anatomy of corn, I learned that each corn has 16 rows of this. So I'm gonna be doing this for a while. Although the diameter of the hot dog is probably a little bit different than the diameter of a true corn cob. In terms of the tedious process, this reminds me a little bit of the corn on the cob that I made out of candy corn. Did you see that video where I made candy elotes? Yes, you should definitely check that out because I was very proud of that video. <sighs> so, pasta, corn. I hope I get better at this as I go along because this is painful. But you guys like pain, right? You like schadenfreude. You like to see people suffer, right? Yeah, I thought so. Most people do somehow. It's empowering, I guess. You're like, ah, I'm glad that's not me. Okay, that's looking pretty good, I have to say. Okay, keep going. Only, you know, 10 more to go. So what if I just do a whole row of pasta? And some of these kernels are a little bit wrinkly, so you don't want a wrinkled kernel. Like that one, that was a little bit dimply. I don't want a dimply corn kernel. So I will be back in probably, I don't know, an hour. I'll let you know how long this takes me when I've got the completed corn on the cob. Okay, see you in a bit. Alrighty, so I'm back. It's been one hour that I've been toiling away at making this. <laughs> this ridiculous thing has come to existence. Yes, I am very proud of this moment. I just spent the last hour placing 200 kernels, around 200 kernels of frozen corn attached to a hot dog using angel hair pasta. <laughs> So my initial plan, like Nikolai, I was going to warm this in a shallow pan of water. But because this is so fragile, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and I'm just gonna place this in the microwave. I'm not gonna risk damaging all of this. Okay, just like 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Ta -da -da. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give this abomination a taste. Thanks, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's not bad. 
I'm losing all of my kernels. And I have to say for what this is, it's not bad. We've got warmed up frozen corn, which tastes like warmed up frozen corn with an essence of hot dog. It's smoky. And then we've got this little textural bite from the raw pasta that's in there. <laughs> The little crunch that comes from the pasta actually is kind of playful. It's a little bit reminiscent of when you actually eat corn off the cob, you get that little bit of that popping sensation. This kind of stimulates that oddly enough. It is strange to bite through an entire cob of corn. <laughs> So there you have it, corn on the cob, but instead of a corn bone, it's a hot dog. Thank you guys so much for suggesting it. If there's anything else you'd like me to test out or try, let me know down in the comments below. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye! <laughs> this is ridiculous, ridiculous.